As we know, LeaderChuck have a fantastic range of work holding solutions, but to add to this range, they've now got machine tool monitoring system, which is in front of me. Frankie, tell me a little bit about it, please. Yeah, absolutely. Um, this is the a, a spindle monitoring system, which is uh, able to detect uh, vibration and temperature from, from the spindle of the machine tool. Okay, so you've got the cable there, but the actual, this is the, the monitoring system tied up in that small little component there? Yes, correct, because uh, into this tiny housing, uh, there are uh, three sensitive elements to collect uh, uh, vibration, direction, and temperature. And then there is a CPU and a small memory, okay? You make it sound very, very simple. And then you've got the interface here, which plugs into new machines from the OEM, but you can also retrofit as well? Yes, absolutely, because uh, it has been designed also to uh, to be to be uh, to do the retrofitting uh, as an option. Okay. okay, no problem. So actually, we have a digital output here okay. uh, that can be easily connected to the fast interrupt uh, of the of the inverter of the machine tool, or even uh, to the emergency stop. Okay, and is it easy to fit? Yes, it is. We have um, actually there is a DIN bar in order to be to be uh, ma mounted uh, easily okay. in, into a regular And then the C, well, I'll call it CPU, easily fitted to the spindle as well, so just mm -hmm. very, very straightforward. Yes, Excellent. this is the M12 thread, yep. in order to be fitted uh, easily into the body of the spindle. Right. So that is monitoring how your machine tool, be it milling, turning, grinding, how it is working. So mm -hmm. what is it actually gonna tell me? Okay, well, the very first function is the collision detection. Okay. Okay, so it uh, detects the exact moment uh, when there is uh, uh, an anomaly in terms of a vibration or temperature. In the case of crash, uh, when these events happen, the, there is a very uh, quick, uh, uh, very clear spike of yep. vibration okay. due to the crash. And operator intervention, you can hit that red button, but that this will actually stop it for you how, yes. How quickly? Within one millisecond, Colin. So okay, so reducing quick. any damage to the spindle, the tool, the component? A lot. A Excellent. lot. Yes. Okay, what else will it do? Well, um, the second function is something that we, we call a uh, black box. So okay. like the aircraft, uh, that where the black box collects all the data uh, from the aircraft. In this case, we collect all the data from the spindle. So okay. vibration and temperature and also events, okay? And the memory, uh, there is a, lar a pretty large memory so that uh, in order to be able to collect the data up to four years. Okay, so an extensive database of yes. information. Does that mm -hmm. tie nicely in maybe with a, a, a machine tool that the supplier's warranty, for example? The warranties, yeah, yeah. Okay. absolutely. Everyone in the industry are, uh, are uh, faced with the, with the um, uh, large uh, warranty request, uh, yep. two, three, four years and something, and this unit uh, does this. Yes. I suppose it can also tie in with e individual operators, so you could see maybe if they need some more training, potentially. Yeah, potentially yep. more training, uh, because okay. uh, sometimes uh, the setting of the machine tool uh, yep. is crucial to uh, in order for the machine tool to yep. work uh, within uh, the the designing uh, vibration ranges. Okay. And this all ties in really, really nicely with Industry 4, which is, you know, huge, huge yes. buzz, buzzword or buzz phrase. Absolutely. At the moment. But what, mm -hmm. um, I mean, a couple of other things it will do. Well, uh, another interesting, uh, and I would say very interesting uh, feature is the spindle checkup, uh, which is able to detect uh, the actual uh, lifespan of the spindle based on the real uh, vibration and temperature uh, uh, usage. Okay, so really it's like telling you when, if I've got a car, when it needs to be serviced. So if I'm running it eight hours a week or 24-7, it's mm. going to tell me. Yes, okay. exactly. Yep. And anything else? Well, the also we have the Industry 4.0, 4.0 yep. upgrade. So yeah, absolutely. you can upgrade your uh, old or very old machine tool right. into a more updated uh, piece okay. of equipment. Now, all this data is fantastic. Mm -hmm. You give us. You, you can provide continuous monitoring. So I'm going to put you to the test. I want to see on the screen machines being monitored as we speak. Can you do that? Yes. Oh, look yes. at that. We can by do magic. That. So, so if we're gonna, for example, if we go to real time data. Okay. So this is your machine shop 
in Italy running right now? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Exactly. So uh, through the internet, uh, we are uh, connected right now to to the sen uh, to the sensor in uh, into one of our. Okay. Now, is this this machine's not running at the moment? Is that correct? It is not running yeah. yet at the moment. The machine too. They're on lunch in Italy. I, on yeah, the exactly. Okay. <laughs> so, if we go home, what what data is on the home page? Okay, the home page is the overall dashboard ah, okay. where uh, we can see the real time values of temperature direction and vibration okay well temperature so this is a vibration here the rms yes, okay. yes exactly and the max module max module is the um is the victoria sum of the free axial uh, so it's combining x y and z calculation yes. so all in the green it's working smoothly yellow yes. bit of an issue mm -hmm. red clearly there, there is a problem mm -hmm. okay events well events it shows the um, oh. all the collision, for example, in this case, right. that's happened uh, on this machine. That's very brave of you to admit on camera that you've had some collisions in your machine. Yeah, so. exactly. Okay, so let's have a, let's have a look at one then, shall we? Let's have a look in one. So you just need to uh, simply click on the on the view button. Okay. And uh, now the software is interrogating yep. through the internet. And I have to say, a little bit slow, very quick, but a little bit slow because it's our Wi-Fi connection. That's all. So I'm assuming. Mm -hmm crash happened here exactly so we are able to detect uh, uh, the amplitude of yep. the crash the the exact date and the exact time when these uh, events happened okay and then we can zoom in i understand is that right exactly you can zoom into the events so here in okay. purple this is the crash okay with the amplitude and okay. as soon as that spike the machine stops but then you can interrogate that data and see exactly what happened mm -hmm. Exactly, because the free axial accelerometer detects also the direction in free okay. axial. Okay, Brilliant. so as we can see here on the X, yep. uh, which is the, the, the blue sky line, was, is, is pretty much flat, right? Right. And we can see that uh, the X, uh, the Z and Y, which is uh, the green and yellow, yep. was moving a little bit. And before this event, everything was flat. So in this case, the event uh, was uh, uh, pretty much clear that uh, the um, here was a, um, a wrong setting because ah. as soon as uh, the um, as soon as the machine was turned on, the yes. crash happened. Okay, the crash happened. right. Next one, then check up. Now I'm taking a guess. This is when I need the equivalent of my car serviced. Yes, Colin, because uh, this feature is able to predict. Uh, uh, to, to predict and monitor the lifespan of the spindle. Okay, so I'm, ham I'm running a machine eight hours a week, which is highly unlikely these days, mm -hmm. but I'm running it 24 seven. It'll take account of that and it'll tell mm -hmm. me when I need to maintain, refurb my spindle, but also it's given me the, the ability to, to book it in so I know maybe Easter, Christmas close down, something like that. Yeah, exactly. So today is the October the 30th yeah. when we are recording this. And uh, this machine uh, is uh, approximately at 80% uh, of uh, right. its uh, uh, lifespan. So the, the machine uh, uh, shop manager can decide, yeah. okay, let's set up uh, a spindle rebuild during uh, the Christmas shutdown. So this has just ruined Christmas for, for an Italian service engineer because yes. he's going to have to do a spindle thing. <laughs> yes. Frankie, mm -hmm. some great, great data. Mm -hmm. What I'd like to do is a quick summary of why an engineer would get the B-Safe product. Well, uh, the final benefit of using uh, this kind of uh, high-end technology actually is uh, uh, gives the ability to save many uh, money during uh, due to machine tool crashes, and also optimize the efficiency of the manufacturing batches. Okay, and also uh, optimize the uh, the maintenance uh, operation due, for example. Excellent. To the, to the spindle checkup function. Frankie, be safe, fan, fantastic product, just improving efficiency, another way of mm -hmm. improving efficiency for engineers mm -hmm. from Leader Chuck and yourself mm -hmm. at Balance Systems. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, Colin.